What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. In this episode we are going to take the city of Warsaw away from the Austrians and destroy the Austrian Empire in the east, forcing them down into the Balkans and northern in, 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 and into Italy. So let's crack on. They do have a mortar unit, we've got mostly horse artillery, but we've got a bucket load of infantry so we should be fine. Especially as we outnumber them significantly there's not really a uh, a major force against us the large component of their troops are um, infant are a militia so we're going to make our breaches with a horse artillery and we're going to assault from as many directions as possible so let's see the let's see the deployment of their forces okay Get all my horse artillery down here. Three units to attack the left hand breach. Three units to attack the right hand breach. Three units. Swing around the one flank. Four units to attack from the other flank. Let's put the cuirassier attacking either flank. Chasseur cheval in the center. General in the center. Crack on. So we're going to make our breach. Yeah, they got some Swiss guards are a good unit, but I'm afraid they will not be enough. So the bit, the slight gamble here about using the. See, they weren't. They aren't all firing for whatever reason. The slight gamble about using horse artillery is they are quite light firepower units so they are susceptible to gunnery from the f from the wall actually uh winning the fight so really we, we definitely need to make one breach if we can make two that'd be perfect we should be fine i think we're, it looks like we're taking about 10 percent off them per volley so 10 volleys that'll probably be fine it'd be pretty good if we could get some traps above the gate but it depends very much on if the AI can move them off the wall in time if we could get some of those Swiss guards that would be really good yes yeah, so they've knocked up one of our guns so the danger with knocking out the guns is that it means that you know we do damage slower but they do damage at the same rate have they knocked out another one they have knocked out another gun. So yeah, it, it's... Getting in, into a prolonged duel with the city is not necessarily the best idea. I like the number of troops they've got over the breach. Good. So let's slow down. Attack the other breach. So the Swiss guards got away from it mostly unscathed. But these guys should... Again, yeah, there we go. Make sure they get the order, make sure they start pivoting, then we can speed up time again. That unit's bugged. They're not firing, but that should be okay. Yes, yeah, so now instead of about 10-11% per turn, we're now down to 7% of volley, which is quite significant. It's result that's probably about another four or five um, volleys we have to get in to do to destroy the wall. But hopefully. Yep, yeah, these guys are bugging out they're trying to move but they can't for whatever reasons so that's great 28th regiment so what, what have we got up here the Salm Salm regiment which is good it's a proper line infantry unit garrison militia another provincial line and the hessian jaegers hopefully if we can if we can successfully take out the breach while they're up there that'd be great but sooner or later the AI must figure it out but if they don't we're going to attack from every point of the compass I might even well no I don't want to start moving up yet until everyone's moving up because I want to swarm so if I move, so the tempting thing is to push this flank up because we've got more space. But I don't want to move these guys up, and they draw the t they be the the target for the mortars. I'd rather have the units attacking the breaches to be the target for the mortars because we've got more of them. 
one more volley and we destroy this section of the wall and we result in all these units on the top being trapped. Well that is excellent. So. Advance. I like to run up all at once because it gives the howitzers a real targeting dilemma. Like, who do they shoot at first? I mean, the artillery doesn't really serve much of a purpose now. I could try and shoot these people on the wall. The mortars are firing, so they're aiming at this flank over here. Understandable. I need one unit to one unit to block off the gate, and three units to assault the wall. Fortunately, that armory's actually blocked two of the shots there, so they now change their targets again. March up the Chasseur à Cheval, march up the General. Okay, let's give you guys some orders. You men scale there, you men scale the gate, you men block the gate, you men scale the gate. So look, I don't think our, even though they've got the firing icon, yeah, they don't really want to shoot the units on the wall. Fair enough. But that is quite the coup, trapping that many units up on the wall. I hear a charge. Uh, yep, so that's why I want you guys there. Drop into square. You guys probably abandon scaling the gate, because that's just not going to happen. With the cavalry there. I'm okay with some of our units scaling the gate. At least it's forced them to commit, which is good. Understandably, that unit might rout. But we don't... You men cease fire. Come straight at us. Yeah, that regiment could well waver. Could well break, rather. Let's get this unit to swing left. Let's try to get you guys in the fort, because why the hell not? There you go, get these units to help help the men here by attacking the garrison provincial line in the flank. Too bad most of them are running across the line here. Set two units up like so to fire into the center. and militia. The gate is ours here, so let's charge our cavalry through, let's charge our infantry through. It looks like they're, start they're pretty much abandoning that gate here, so let's also run more infantry in. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha.
So let's get my cavalry in. Oh, the hussars are routed, which is good. Knock out the mortars with my cavalry first. Get my general's bodyguard up and get my chasseur à cheval up. You may attack the general's bodyguard. Charge in to the backs of these men here. Help protect these brave Louisianans who are holding the front line. You guys hit the horse grenadier guards. You men may as well try scale this wall. You men attack the general's bodyguard. A couple of these units just surround them. Bring the general's bodyguard in. There we go, the Austrian infantry are now surrounded. Oh, look at that blackguard. So we're taking down their general's bodyguard, which is nice. Let's charge some more infantry in to support that combat. My cuirassier will make their way through the gate. My chasseur à cheval are more... They're softer... Than my... Than their, than their cavalry. They'll be enough. So we are getting fired upon from up on the walls, but it's not going to be enough to change what's happening. The general's bodyguard is falling. We have the enemy surrounded... more units charging up the wall to help support this battle. Oh, the gatehouse isn't ours. That'd be a bummer. You men, cease fire at will and charge around the corner to help out. You men, secure the square. Trying to kill my general, but he's not having it. Yeah, those horse grenadier guards aren't going to be enough. My infantry here is not actually fighting anymore. Two more militiamen there. Make sure they're all attacking the Swiss guard. I mean, they've done a very admirable job. We've taken another gatehouse. This unit is going to fall. Let's form square. Because the general's bodyguard is still here. The general will be taken prisoner. my general to run through the mess to the square the general is being chased by infantry this infantry break and run to try and cut them off now nah, the center the city is taken anyway hurrah Excellent. So that's another major crossing point. What's the, one of the only other crossing points of the river secured? Yeah, we did lose more men than we would than we would normally lose. But let's repair the buildings. Let's take all of our troops and replenish. We've got a university down here to crack off. So you guys get ready to form a garrison at Warsaw. 
Take his infantry at Berlin over to Breslau. Because they can form actually a bit of a relief column in the east. Try recruit the odd extra unit. Lancer Guard, Curacier, Chasseur Chabot. No, not Gendarmerie. Hussar. Just recruit stuff. Um, you're still blocking. Th you're not. That's not really where we need you anymore. Could really do with getting you over here to block this passage, and then you, Maximilien Mortier, could push against Loire, which you might actually do because it looks like there isn't really any Ottoman troops in the area to worry about. I mean, the Swedish flank here is pretty exposed. You men are going to march. First to evict that fleet into open water for our our, our navy to destroy. So you men get back to port for repairs, and you can pick up a selection of fourth rates as well. You're probably not needed here anymore, because we control nearly, apart from Riga, the entire Baltic coast. And Riga's besieged and they can't actually deal with us so you guys might actually aha okay first of all you guys attack Ragusa I must have a closer ship yeah there we go let's use Andre de Constantine to blockade Zadar to keep this Russian navy in port this Austrian navy in port so you raided them, but I'd li I would like... Okay, let's take your 438 ships of the line. We can sail you up to Trieste. To blockade that port. We're going to take Sylvester Germain. And we're going to manually attack Hungary, because I don't want to attrit all these other armies nearby. So let's take them out. Two mortars, a handful of militia, and an armed citizenry unit. Probably not going to be that much of an issue. So let's take the city, and it will be another, another step on the road to victory. Hmm. Do not forget your dogs of war, your big guns. Damn right they are. In this army I have heavy horse artillery and heavy field artillery as well so we will make our way in so you men blast your way in howitzers fire as you bear let's take our weakest units they're going to push through the breaches which might sound counterintuitive you know weakest units through the breaches why does that make sense and you go well the problem is because they've got mortars I don't want them to send them round the flanks because they, the flanks need lots of support, they need good units and the mortars they have are incredibly efficient at destroying morale. So let's start to clear them out first. There we go, down to three crewmen in one volley. Good stuff. So focus on taking out this crew here then we'll just start taking out these crews i doubt this ai is going to be as silly as to let us trap so many units on the wall but they'll have to make their decisions quickly because these are 24 pound heavy horse artillery these aren't firepower 168 range 900 Ooh. get one gun okay first of all get one gun to attack that remaining crew set another gun to attack this artillery yeah they're getting off the wall too sweet Let's get them to focus on the next breach. So try and knock out the mortars. Looks like uh, artillery. That unit's bugged. 
Okay, there we go. They are working on it. They're all clustering around one gate, which is understandable. So close to hitting that general. I mean, that unit might actually be a bit of a lost cause. So let's get one of our guns to attack that breach. Get a unit to attack the 2nd Regiment of Militia. You guys attack the men on the walls. And let's begin the assault. Mm -mm, misses with the quick climb there. Yeah, this is a good assault. This is an assault that I think we're going to do just fine. So that's their commander. Yeah. <laughs> All my men appear to be lying down. I don't really understand it. There we are. Hmm. Don't see them yet. <laughs> the other crews are firing. Yeah, they're loading. Mortars away. Are they aiming at the 16th? Well, no, they're aiming at my engineers. Still, at least that means they're not... Well, someone's going to get shot. That's all there is to it. To be honest, I think we can just push in this flank here because they've got no one actually protecting it. I was hoping to have maybe another breach here, but I don't, to be honest, I don't think it's going to be needed. Heavy, my whole, my um, artillery cease fire. These three units just push in. Howitzers just attack the enemy. You men scale the walls. You men scale the walls. These two get ready to run in. You men get ready. I mean, these are fusiliers. That's quite... No, fusiliers go to the gate. Grenadiers. This regiment of foot scale the wall. These 122 men charge the guns. You men get ready to engage the garrison militia. Quick climb coming in, but let's switch to round shot. Actually cease fire. I was hoping you'd fire your volley, but they're aiming at the wrong unit. These units charge in the war, charge in now as well. Kill the mortar crewmen, you men form up and engage the enemy. We've not captured this gate yet, but soon, soon we will. My howitzers actually might. Round shot the, gar the government militia right here. You guys are firing at will. Good, sh good shots away. Enemy general's been killed. Please fire. Attack the provincial militia here, because for whatever reason, I don't know why they do this, but you guys just decide they're going to stop climbing the wall. It's like, yeah, fine, but 
Like you guys, they're both about to do it. Oh, there we go. They've broken. Well, the units in the gate in the center are broken. Very well. Protect the square. Although you guys can't walk too far away. Those units are scaling the wall most admirably. Fusiliers are waiting their turn, trying to get in. Very well, they too will scale the wall, but in 10 seconds it does not matter. For the victory will be ours. You don't understand. Louisianans have stormed the world. They've conquered every corner of, over, of the lands overseas, and now they come to take your European homeland. Yes. There we go. Hungary is taken. For the glory of the Louisiana Empire. That should give us some better understanding on what lies ahead. Again, there's a couple of scattered units, but they've not really got the strength. I mean, I might actually move you guys over here to better secure that front, just to prevent them from running around. You guys can push up to the centre here. So, what I want to do is probably take you guys... Well, let's take Gerald Tunier around here as a reserve. But take Jean Moreau Le Notre, hit Balthazar Falkenstein, because that would call these guys into a field, a conventional battle to support their ally, which they will then lose and then they will fall back. I think that's a good plan. Balthazar Falkenstein. There we go. We outnumbered the enemy significantly. They have quite an elite reinforcement force coming in, but that will not be enough to withstand us, because we have our Tirelier. Let's attack this force, and that will punt out the garrison of Genoa as well. And these will be two more armies that, in time, will be able to march south and put pressure on the Italian states. At some point, they have to fall, because they have many, many, many armies around Rome. But they will not withstand us, no siree. Church will pray to God for the dead, the survivor has honour and glory. Hurrah! Okay, let's deploy... Artillery up here to try and use this feature to protect them from the right flank. It does mean they're a bit useless shooting over onto the left. So maybe they stand forward. Let's give them an artillery unit and let's scatter some artillery units about. Three units of infantry plus two guard units. Deploying around about there. Got a lot of light infantry. They're going to act as a reserve and redeploy as we need them. Although you guys might actually deploy there. I mean, common sense says that they should all be behind the... Um, they should all be coming in from over there. But the fact that there's a city right there causes me some concern. Nope, don't worry. So we might need to, apart from sound thingamajigs, we might need to push because, A, there's a howitzer right there I haven't deployed. Charge up my cuirassier and my cheval leger to fight their household cavalry. go. My light infantry continue to push the flank, my chevalier give them a bit of support. Problem is we need to hit their... we need to hit their um, 
artillery because it's firing firing um, shrapnel shot at us. Quick climb can only do so much. Who's that coming in? Provincial cavalry. Foot guards march up, blast it with Blast it with some volleys, cause them to break. This infantry get back into square. The skirmishers get into the woods, Chevrolet Leger for cover. Pour fire on them. Get them to rout. Fire another set of volleys. Just to try and do more damage to their crews, then fall back. It's not an ideal solution. But it's the one we have. So we might be about to get caught out in the open. New men deploy into square. Everyone else fall back. Go on, Chevrolet Leger. Hit their provincial cavalry. You guys about face. Get out of line, about face. Curiosity yeah, should win against the household cavalry. I hope my skirmishes can do some devastating damage. Keep my cavalry on the offensive. You guys here knocked out their crewmen. Good, you guys have beaten the household cavalry, so get over here to fight there. Go over here to fight the enemy on this flank. Artillery mass against the militia right there. You guys hit the Swiss line. There they are, advancing to meet us. Bring our cavalry in. So we probably want to, we do, we will want to pivot. Hopefully we'll beat the provincial cavalry, then we can successfully retreat. Brycor line, don't worry about them. You guys hit that household cavalry, you guys hit that Swiss line, you guys hit that Swiss line. Cavalry has won the engagement, pull back. Quick climbing howitzers start to pick off these units that are pushing up. All my artillery well, you guys focus on the line infantry, you guys do the same. You guys hit the Swiss line. You men charge in against the household cavalry here. Curiosier charge into them hard. These guys are going to be not in great shape. Let's pivot the flank.
not take the cavalry, advance upon the right flank, keep the cavalry ready, push up my cavalry to try and entice them to deploy into squares. So my field artillery back here. Engage that regiment of foot. And the 11th regiment are upset. So horse guards have gone in. Light cavalry sharpshooters hopefully should be getting picked apart. So these guys are all guards, howitzers, 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 cavalry. I, mean, I know these, are, these guys are light infantry, but they are good enough in the... good enough in the line. Not my light troops to start hitting the skirmishers. Deadly accurate with their muskets. I hope you guys will be enough to kill the 9th regiment, but it looks like that will not be the case. Good, they've been killed to so pull our cavalry back. Still bringing in their reinforcements. My artillery back here is going to switch to a round shot. Try and engage some of the returning units coming in. Infantry redeploy. Artillery switch to round shot. Focus on the 18th Regiment of Foot coming in. My artillery, well one of them, two of them, focus on the 24 pounders to the rear. Let's split this regiment off because they're actually going to be engaging battlefield targets. Yeah, putting spikes down to defend their artillery. Focus fire that unit of guards coming in. Chiefly because they are walking. Our cavalry's massed on the left flank. So the lone gun team go for these dragoons of shrapnel shot. They might actually um, dismount. No, oh, overshot. Yeah, the artillery is coming in. They're really hitting this unit. Okay, don't form square, because they've dismounted and then they've routed right in front of you. So let's drop some quick climb targets against some of these other formations. Watching my line infantry have such a huge range. They are getting hit against the flank of this guard unit as they advance. I think we are starting to see the end of the reinforcements coming in. Carabiner, artillery, artillery, general. Look at all these horses being used as shields. I wonder if they actually, if that's actually how they work. 
quickly I'm coming in because all my skirmishes still firing away, firing away at max range. You guys are firing. Advance you guys up like so. Let's hit the light dragoons. Enemy Jaegers can be charged down by my cavalry. Pivot these guys to make sure they fire into the infantry rather than this combat here. I mean, I know this is definitely not the way you're supposed to use skirmishers, but whatever. This artillery unit can engage the carabiner. You haven't done much damage to this artillery, so I might switch all my artillery against carabiner, carabiner, carabinier, whatever. The general's been killed. Yeah, we did knock out one gun team. Get the Chevrolet Leger to chase down those chaps. Halt fire with my howitzers. Commit the general to the fight. Just push up my whole line because they are now just infantry. I want my cavalry. Well, they are now just artillery, and I want my cavalry to actually fight and chase down some of these other units. Because there are some fairly elite tr troops still on the field. Garrison guards, garrison guards. Carabiner are still about. It's me. I'm going to speed up time a little bit just because. Ooh. How it's serving us. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Yeah, blast must be quick lime. So run my cavalry around behind the spikes. Yet they are blasting holes in my line. They're aware of what they're doing. I managed to get my cavalry to route. And... Okay, all my artillery. They are within range. Hit the carabiner. Everyone else just... Swarm, swarm, attack, pan and alpha. Skirmishes form up. Face the enemy general's bodyguard. Howitzers don't have the range. Swarm, swarm, swarm. And this is exactly why I brought in and made sure I had a reinforcement army in case I needed to chase down anybody. Very bloody fight. Please fire. These are light cavalry, so I'm not expecting them to withstand the charge. Keep killing them because they're sur we surround them. 
but we're not going to chase them down because they're cavalry. Hoorah! Again, that was quite a bloody battle there. But I'll take it as a victory. We have a reasonable exchange ratio. Let's kill them. The army's fallen back. The garrison also has fallen back. So now Gerald Tunier. Well, first of all, Jean Moreau, replenish your army. Gerald, demand the surrender of Genoa. So repair the port. Let's repair the House of Representatives. Let's, our army's replenished. Let's upgrade the roads. Hurrah, you can't move. Because you're just stuck there. You are still reinforcing. Perrin, Monsieur Perrin is replenishing. So the, so one of these armies is land is getting ready to hit Tripoli. Another army will probably land and take Valletta. Um, over in the east, so Gaston. Hmm. So if I take away your artillery, you can reach that Swedish fragment. And your artillery still comes in as a reserve, but they're pretty depleted anyway. My main concern was um, if the... Because my troops in the east are on the offensive, if they ran this way to hit Ufa, that would just be frustrating and they'd raid their way all the way along. So Mathis, you're, up to, you're going up to Comey. Got a force going up to... to Oh, no, you're not securing Archangels. I suppose you'll hit Comey and Archangels. We're starting to box in Moscow. Yes, sir. So let's start doing that with some of these other armies. Your orders, your Majesty. You aren't necessary to drive west, so you're going to go north as well against Moscow. You're going south to hit... This force here that's running around our rear area that's currently fairly unopposed. Once we've taken out this force, then we're going to decide to probably hit Athens or Greece, maybe force a crossing in Istanbul. It's interesting, actually. Istanbul is unhappy. High clamour for reform, but they're very war-weary. Interesting. Uh, but can you... Not yet. Your Majesty. You will hit that. Ottoman force there, however, and destroy them. The Dagestan garrison still can't move, I would wager. Nope, they're still... Being a former independent state, they're still very unhappy. Cherkask, you're upgrading your roads. Good. Genoa can't fight. You've taken Genoa. I mean, Genoa here, we can't fight on Corsica. I think we're generally okay. What I would like to do, though, is because we still have an enemy presence up here in Iceland. So let's send a fifth rate up to, to investigate Reykjavik. Yeah. No garrison. It's still going to be a full army, though, because we want a reasonable... But we want to use them afterwards. So Guillaume Sheretin Cano. Let's get you in the centre of England and start recruiting. So I don't want Chasser or Cheval. See again, I can recruit 12 pounder foot artillery, but not 24 pounder. Unless they've they've been 24 pounders get replaced by guard artillery. Because the only artillery I can actually recruit is 12 pounders. Interesting. Let's get another howitzer unit and let's get a. Pretty sure there's not that many units I can recruit now. Get a line infantry unit recruited. Let's bring these units back into the fold. So when it comes to trade zones. Okay, still need some in the Ivory Coast. So that's where all my all these fifths are going to go. First of all, let's pick up a sloop to keep our trade port occupied. 
I accidentally recruited a general's body, an admiral there. Recruit some fifths. Obviously, you can't go anywhere. But let's get you over there anyway. So then down here, we've got. Yeah, here's some more privateers. Get more privateers. Well, that's as many as we can get. Get some heavy privateers. So we've got a pretty beasty fleet there, again, to hold the crossing. Yes, You're still replenishing. Your Majesty. I don't... Well, I mean, we've got some Austrian troops running around the rear areas, but we've got two full stacks here chasing them down, so Sir. they aren't likely to cause us much trouble. Let's march this infantry over to Turin. Oh, we haven't actually repaired Milan's government building. Okay, so we've got, you can't, well, you're on your way to Estonia, you're going to destroy that Swedish force, then the garrison here is going to march and hit Vilnius, or they were probably going to disband an infantry unit, and promote one of our horse grenadier guardsmen, Louis Bernard Husch, to a general, and he can continue the advance, I think. What's our tech look like? I mean, we're not far off of being completely finished. Krakow's being destroyed. Graz is occupied, so it doesn't really matter. Look, all the industrial techs are about to get all the philosophical techs. So now it's just sheet lead cartridges and percussion shells. So we are getting to the point where we can actually start to um, dismantle some universities and we still have an army in India that is potentially of use yeah, Austria's scrambling to combine their forces into some more effective fighting formations feel free to steal my technologies Austria they will not be universities for long so when time the Ottomans will react not well. They probably will not like the sudden creation of a front line in the Balkans. Because that might be a bit of a surprise for them. Um, what I'm probably going to do is chop the recording here. Uh, because Ottoman interns suck a bit. So just a second, everyone. So a couple of bits and pieces have happened, which I'll explain later. But this force that originally landed south of Ankara has marched west into Child Caster. So we are just going to auto that. <laughs> Um, because they've been pretty damaged um, before. But the main thing to look at, the main, the main thing they've done is they are advancing east towards Baghdad in strength. So that's the that's the main thing to react to. Um, which again isn't a problem because you have lots of troops in that area. <laughs> well, they've abandoned Riga. They're seeing it as an opportunity to march against. Ooh, Genoa's sallying out, eh? Yeah, let's fight it. Um, yeah, so they, there's two and a half stacks-ish, roughly heading towards Baghdad. So we've got a bit of work to do to, uh, to chase them down and block them off. But we can do it. We definitely do have the time. And especially with an army currently sat in India, they can be shipped to Basra uh, really quickly. But first of all, ooh. So, because we know we've got a pretty depleted force coming at us, let's take four infantry units, let's deploy them here. I can get, I can get an infantry unit in here, I can get a marine unit to hold the gap. That's you two, then the remaining infantry form an almighty line behind the town. I might just, to be honest, I might just deploy all of my artillery 
well, one of you might deploy back here onto this hill. One of you might deploy onto this hill. And another unit. Which one is it? This one might deploy over here. How it says deploy as normal. And general in the general in the center. Take the ruins. So they've advanced. Their strongest infantry formation they have against us. And here comes the rest of their army. Which consists of lots of... Oh, I've mi I mis I forgot about a, a guard decor unit. Very well. Let's advance up our... Well, let's advance up our right flank like this. My marines can advance up into the gap. Well. To be honest, they didn't really need to advance. Because just look at the the mess that's advancing. Large numbers of men have retreated to the island and then they've suddenly found that they don't have the economy to support them. You have some men firing from the ruins. It's not really the best angle to hold ruins, really. Let's get some cavalry out off to the flank, just to ready, just in case they decide to try and go for the most frustrating angle and go for our guns. Here comes the reinforcements. Hooray! I mean, the main force is, is routed. The regiment of horse is charging they've had enough as well so the reason why I've not pushed in any further is because I don't want um, I don't want the ruins to fire into the so here if we get charged they're firing straight into them if I advance this line up to here these men will shoot into the sides and the backs of my own unit so I don't want to do that my marines will love this engagement Dish out some new quick lime targets. Yeah, you're facing the general's bodyguard. I mean, I don't care how many cavalry throw into this fight. We've got Curassier. They've got gendarmerie, provincial cavalry, lots of other rubbish. Yeah, they they will not. This will not be a good engagement for the, the forces of Genoa, but they have no choice. Eh, drop you guys into square. That'll be okay. Yeah, immediately the regiment of horses has to fall back. Commit my guard to core. So my cressier can do a real number on the regiment of force. Get my guard to core against the general's bodyguard. Sad that you can't get involved, but three units firing by rank is more than enough. Especially as ooh, the mighty reinforcements are coming in. Ooh. Go on, you can try and take the ruins from me. Don't think the 160th will like that. General's been killed. Cavalry's been killed on the right flank.
they're bringing in more troops. They're bringing up some reinforcements. The first, the fourth, the fifth. Oh dear. These fellows will have a bit of a torrid time. We're going to fall upon their resupply column and cut them to ribbons. My general's there going, look at these brave men. Great quick climb shot. They're all going to... Yep, there we go. That entire wing has broken. Men in the ruins, ceasefire. Seize fire, seize fire on the firing line. Yep, 13th Regiment, you're going to get some shots off. Yeah, they're suddenly realising this is bad, this is not a good idea. And they would be right. These units are pouring fire by rank into just the men that are, have the just the worst luck. Bring my general over here to make sure they don't come back. So my guard, of course, take out the general's bodyguard. Will probably not be necessary, but just in case. Hey, VG, no, I'm not interested in your threat search. God damn it, AVG. Come on. It's only the first regiment that's alive. I do not think they will last the night. Yeah, no. It's not a good outcome. Enemy general has been killed. Kill their kill their troops. I'm gonna continue just because it probably means I'm gonna auto resolve the final battle. I haven't got much cavalry anyway, and the edge of the map is fairly close. There we go, this is the 7th regiment, is the last unit on the board, or on the map, and there they go. The devils. The devils, the devils, the devils. Yeah, safe to say that Genoa is done, they want peace and they're offering to pay for it. Nope. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to let you get away with that. No, sir. No, sir, indeed. Come on, let me. Let me, let me, let me, let me in. Let me in. Let me in, let me in, come on. So. We don't have any trickery on the eastern front. So you men combine... Replenish and push up to that road. I'm pretty sure this army can leave Kazan. It can, and we can build build some upgraded build some upgrades into the province. I mean, this this unit this area has three happiness buildings, which is overkill. Let's upgrade you to a church school. First of all, let's check out the. Building tab. Just because if I don't, if I don't do it, next episode I won't be able to do it. I won't. I won't have a list of things that have just been done. Good. Keep upgrading. 
Better market there, it's been upgraded. Jesuit College has been upgraded. Steam Engine Factory has upgraded you to a steam engine factory in the Rhineland. St. Petersburg is being heavily upgraded, and the art this army here is nearly done. Okay, all the ones in St. Petersburg have been done. Clearance is in the Don. Church School in Anatolia. You're gonna head You're gonna head east against Orman Rolf. You guys are gonna march north against Bayzid Nalil Naili. Just because I don't they were making a run for the capital. I just really don't want that to happen. So we got down to church school in Anatolia. Because again, it's very easy to start to run out of money at this point. And I'm kind of... I'm 140,000 per turn, but it's very easy to spend huge sums of money. So you're pushing on to Komi. You're pushing up the road towards Moscow. Obviously that fight's going to happen. You're pushing up to this bridgehead. You're pushing up to this bridgehead. March my militia up to Archangels to see what we're dealing with. So Sweden's kind of run around us here. So let's march you guys over to this gap. This. Hmm. So Courland, the Courland garrison is going to probably just demand the surrender of Riga. Then what's probably going to happen is this army is going to run up to take Elgava around this Swedish force here. You guys are replenishing. You guys can get ready to garrison Konigsberg because we're going to push this army out to go fight this Swedish force. So the, like I said, the main scary thing is they've just gone... Rah! And they're all going to run east. So... Let's take this army that is now at full strength, down to Surat. Disembark the army, sell them up to Basra. We have a gunner that's not doing anything anyway. Like you can, you, you can hit them, which is great. Just do that. Although actually, I think. The gunner go to Louis. You men recruit. It's going to take a long time for the artillery to get here, but that's okay. These guys are in a defensive position anyway. So march you guys up. Let's take one of these sloops back to Surat. Then let's dem let's get rid of two of these sloops. Let's not get rid of the sloop, Rodney. Oh, nuts. That's not the right thing. Scupper. Well, I demote the Admiral. <laughs> what a waste of money. Okay. So then we can do stuff like this. Keep them... Keep them kind of boxed in. Take. Oh, I mean, they did. Yeah, they've raided our port there with a big fleet. There's not a lot we can do about that. I mean, now we have this port. I might actually garrison this naval hospital. So we can start to build a fleet. Although I might actually want to take. So in India, we have. If you guys sail over to West Africa. The start of an army here, which I suppose I would be a fool to at least not finish. You've got a fifth fleet, you can transport it. So here in India we have two fleets, so I suppose two fleets is probably a bit of overkill. Get a militia unit into the steam dock, 
And then let's get rid of these two militia units. Get Patrice to sail over to... Hmm. Might want to sail them over to another trade zone, although East Indies is pretty secure. Let's trade to Madagascar. There's an Ottoman fleet and some Austrian ships over there. Sell them down. What I'd like to do with this army, Majesty. Nicolas Molnier, well, actually, I'd probably rather do it with Maurice Duplier, is put. Hmm. Yes, my lord. If I put if I put Jerusalem under siege with this army, I can't attack it. Not really with one gun. It's a recipe for disaster. But I can garrison it to death. Then Maurice can leave the capital. New men can march like so. So we've got the this cluster of troops here um, is in trouble. And you were on your way back, chase down that elite army or that other army. You guys can march around that direction to meet them in the other from the other side. Two more turns to get a bit of dry dock. Okay, so a few things are going to happen. Well, we have a number of fights that are going to happen this turn. First, we're going to take Horace Fouquet. 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 They're going to attack this Ottoman force that's currently on our side of the river. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for another turn of glorious battle. Cheers, everyone.